all right guys welcome back to the channel so it's the middle of the month which means it's time to talk about singapore airlines spontaneous escape again for those of you who don't know what that is let's take a quick look for a refresher course so basically it's a monthly promotion from singapore airlines for you to get 30 percent off saver award tickets to select destinations now the destinations changes every month and you have until the end of the month so right now it's april you have until april 30th to make your booking and for the travel period of may for the entirety of may so may 1st to may 31st now i know it says 30 percent off award tickets but you can actually find 50 percent off cash price tickets if you know where to look for and which route that you're looking for and i'll show you in a moment so you want to watch until the end but first things first i'm going to put this link down below in the description box so you can actually look at the destination list yourself because we're not going to have time to go over every single destination obviously i just want to show you the focus for this month so i think the focus for this month is actually australia and new zealand and that's because if you take a look, almost every destination on the list has at least promotional rates for economy class and some really popular destinations for business class as well. Uh, you can see you have Singapore to Sydney, and Sydney to Singapore in business class, uh, as well as Melbourne to Singapore in business class and even Singapore to Christchurch, although there's a lot of... Um, blackout dates and that's one thing that you have to be aware of but hey if you can be flexible if it works with your schedule totally take advantage of this for my united states viewers uh unfortunately we only have frankfurt to new york in business class although there's still uh economy class as well and also singapore to san francisco in economy class all right as promised let me show you an example where you can get 50 percent off of the cash price so let's take a look over here let's go back to the destination list and let's just take our australia new zealand list for example and we're just going to take sydney because that's a popular destination so we're going to do singapore to sydney and we're going to go to the singapore airlines official web page select redeem flights so we're going to change this to Singapore to Sydney uh, we're gonna do one way the ninth uh, I believe that's outside of the blackout period so we're gonna do business class and so over here you can see that it's 47 thousand nine hundred and fifty points which is exactly the prom promotional rate so we know that this is the only one this is the only one that's available and we're going to click on this once you click on that you'll get the fees the airline fees and in the interest of time i already calculated that for us uh so that's roughly going to be 76 dollars us dollars so let's compare it to the actual price of this flight so let's remember this is singapore to sydney flight number sq231 so we're going to go to google flight and look for the same flight singapore to sydney we're going to do business and I believe it was May 9th. Okay. Let's search business. We're going to do nonstop. And we are going to see this one right here. But I believe that's not the correct flight number. So I remember it was SQ231. This is 23 or 241. So uh, let's go ahead and it's this one SQ two three one so as you can see it costs two thousand two hundred and sixty six dollars so let's put it into the calculator and see if it's 50 percent off okay and i think it is so it's uh 47 oops let's go here 47 
9.50. And I'm going to assume that you don't have uh, the Chris Flyer points. So you're going to have to transfer from either Chase, Citibank, or American Express. So those points would generally be valued at two cents a piece. So multiply by 0 0.02. That will give us the actual value of your points. So it's going to be $959. But remember, there's also a fee involved. And that was, if I remember correctly, $76. So that equals to $1035. So $1,035 in value. That's the cost of your award ticket. So let's compare that to the cash price, which is two two six six two thousand two hundred and sixty six dollars so let's divide two two six six and you get four the five point six percent that's how much you're paying so minus one and that's how much percentage off that you're getting so since you're paying roughly forty five point six percent of the total cash price which then also means that you're getting roughly 54.3% off. So there you go. There's your 50% off route right here. So easy to find, right? You can do it yourself as well. Again, the most important part is to find out the value of your points because often we'll see 40,000 points, 50,000 points, 100,000 points. But what does that really mean, right? In terms of value. So just to be clear let me show you again so you want to take the amount of points that you need for this redemption 47950 multiply the value per points and again in this case i'm assuming you're transferring from your credit card to singapore airlines chris flyer account so it'll be 0 0.02 equals 959 dollars but you always 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 remember to add in the fees or else it won't be a correct calculation so plus 76 dollars for the fees and you get 1003 sorry 1035 dollars this is the value of your points redemption all right so what's my take on all this i think spontaneous escape is one of the most consistent monthly promotions out there so it's at least worth taking a look and don't forget summer travel is coming up which means everything will get really really expensive really quickly so you might not want to go to sydney this month but who knows you might find a great deal next month or the month after that for july who knows right so that's why i'm making these videos so it can actually give you a reminder all right so now you might think to yourself i get the idea Basically, you have to use points to redeem for airline tickets, but how do I find these availability? It takes so much time just to look day by day. It's okay because that's why I make this video right here. Click on it and watch it. It'll show you a tool that can minimize the time that you spend looking for routes and availability and maximize your saving. And again, if you find this content useful, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.